Okay, uh, it's mailbag time. As usual, I'm running about a minute late, so I'm just going to grab something to sit on and the uh, box to open stuff, and we'll get right to it. I think it's going to be a short one today, though. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five packages, and I, uh, I know what one of them is, and uh, I'm excited about one of the letters that I recognize, too. I mean, I'm sure I'm excited about all of them, but uh, there was... One that I, you know, recognize the address or a name, and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. So, <clears throat> so it's going to be a short one, but uh, it's going to be fun. Let's see here. And short's good today. As long as I'm trying to get stuff together, I can keep talking to you. And uh, short's good. Um, I've been I've been trying to start working out, and I need to really stay on that. Uh, you know, you just if I lose it for a couple days, I could just stop entirely, and that wouldn't be great. So it's really my number one priority. And having a short mailbag is going to make that easier. I almost, I almost thought about putting mailbag in the afternoon indefinitely until you know I can get up and work out and know that I've really got the habit formed. That, that's that's the important thing. Is, that's what I mean. Is you got to you've got to make it a habit, you know. And if I can just get it to that point where I've done it every single day for long enough that it sticks. I'll be in real good shape. Uh, no pun intended. Okay. I'm also going to put on a different uh, jacket, I think. One sec. It's right here. So that's going really well, though, and I feel great about it. <clears throat> Okay, let's see who's going to join us here for mailbag. Let's check the camera angles. We got some fun sunlight coming in. That's nice. I wonder if it looks okay though, or if it's just going to make everything look bad. Uh, <laughs> hmm, that's not bad really. It's kind of fun. I just want to know if that camera zoomed all the way out. So let's check that. Hi, buds. Hi. Oh, you guys are all so sweet. Wow, okay. Third time's a charm. That's the one. It does appear to be zoomed all the way out. About as well focused as we can get. Okay, I've got Maggie and Custard here. Custard usually spends most of the day when he's outside of the room in the recliner right here, and that's where he is right now. He just doesn't usually get so much company. <laughs> so he, he looks a little bit irritated at all the kittens right now. <laughs> He's got a real face on. Okay, uh, well, let's jump right in. Uh, this one says, wait. Oh, well, uh, why not start here? This one says, okay to read card on stream. Thank you. Ooh. All right, there's a lot packed in here. Let's see. Aw, okay to read card on stream. Please read these things off stream. Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate the, the good labeling, so it's uh, hard for me to miss. And uh, the instructions, it's always good, so I know it's what. So here we go. Uh, okay to read on stream is a photograph of a big polar bear standing over a little polar bear. And I think it's a real photograph. It looks, it looks perfectly legit. Uh, and it's really cute. On the back it says it is an International Fund for Animal Welfare card. I wish it would tell us a little bit more about the photo, but it just gives a photo credit. So, All right. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, when my partner and I found out we were adopting Squall and Wellingtons, the initial joy and triumph were immediately eclipsed by fear. <laughs> These cats are famous and beloved, and they were raised uh, by beloved and famous you. The responsibility is nearly crushing. Is this how uh, Travis Kelce felt when Taylor Swift said yes to their first date? I don't know. Uh, I know Taylor Swift. I don't know who they're dating, though. I, I just, I'm sorry. I don't follow this kind of celebrity thing, so I'm sure I mispronounced his name. Uh, anyway, I say, nearly crushing. I have rallied. I am over my fear. Please let us assure you, Mr. A, that they are going to live with people who love them very, 
very much and are prepared to let them inspect our noses, chomp our lawn, sleep under our computer mice, and play in our sinks and showers. We knowingly make this commitment with open eyes and open hearts. We've had cats before. <laughs> Along with our own expectations of ourselves, we promise to be worthy adopters because the KA community, and you in particular, want the best outcomes for every mom, cat, and kitten that crosses your doorstep. This is why we love KA. Your work makes the world better, and we will not let you down. We're not on Facebook but we will post alumni pics in Discord. Love, not that Ari. That's, that's so sweet. Um, yeah, this is the one that I recognized and was excited to read. And uh, I just, I don't even have words for how wonderful that is, but I know I've told you how thrilled I am that, that you are adopting these kittens and that um, I know that, I know you're gonna just be wonderful with them. They are super special to me, and they're super special to everybody. Um, but I think, I, I just, I don't know that we could have picked somebody uh, better. So, I'm, I feel really good about it. That's, that's what I'd like you to know. And it's, it is, there's no doubt, it is going to be so hard to see these guys go. Uh, I think we've scheduled your pickup. That's the one that's at the end of December, after Christmas, right? And I know I've mentioned a few times how wonderful I think it is that, that, I know, I know you must be so in love with these kittens, but you were willing to, uh, actually you, you suggested saying, you know, I, look, I, I'm going to go on a Christmas vacation and, um, you know, instead of boarding them, picking them up and then Im almost immediately boarding them with some strangers, maybe they should just stay there until after our vacation and then we pick them up. And I know if I have, it doesn't even have to be something as special as a kitten, you know, if I just have something new coming from Amazon. I don't want to have to wait any extra time for it. Uh, it drives me crazy. So it's it, that, and I know you must feel the same way, but being able to make that decision is, it really says a lot. Um, and that's, that's just, that's just part of it. I, I know you're good people. I'm just, I'm, I couldn't be happier about it. So uh, thank you so much for the note though. I know that's got to also make people feel a little better. Oh, that reminds me, I was asked to mention about Teaspoon because I know uh, teaspoon has been on the stream a little bit lately, uh, being mm, a little more mature than we would expect our teaspoon to be, right? Uh, and if you if you see that, I just I want I want folks to know you don't have to write in to let us know. We we know it's happening, um, and we're keeping an eye on it. Uh, but it is it's just a natural thing to happen, even for cats that are fixed. Uh, he's not yet, but even for cats that are fixed, you'll see Ari doing it once in a rare while. Uh, he's getting to the age where it's just something that's that's going to happen. Some of it is just dominus play. He, he really doesn't know what he's doing at this point. Um, but the, I think the most important thing to take away from it is, first off, there's not a lot of options for us to do anything about it, except make sure that all the girls are fixed, because we can't get him fixed yet. He's he's what they call crypt orchid, and, and really what that means is just that it's going to take extra surgery to, to get him fixed, and even doing the regular amount of surgery to get him fixed was kind of a question given his heart condition. So uh, the plan that we're going to have to stick with is to wait until either um, his bits are present <laughs> and then maybe we can talk one of our vets into doing the regular surgery again or uh, um, have his heart surgery and uh, then find out if we can do it. So we'll see. Um, otherwise, there's just not a whole lot of option. Um, but there's also not a whole lot of danger, really. I know it's a little strange to watch uh, if you see him doing it. We'll try to keep it off camera when we can. Um, but uh, like I said, it is, it's just a thing that happens and uh, there's, there's not much choice for us right now. Oh, uh, but the fact that he is Crypt Orchid, the thing that's keeping us from being able to do the surgery easily is also the thing that means that even if one of the, like the mom cats isn't fixed yet, uh, he's, it's not going to be effective. It doesn't accomplish anything, you know, he's just performing the motions, but there's nothing, uh, it's not, you know, so there's nothing to worry about anyway on any level. So that's that. Okay. We have a note here. It says, okay to read on stream. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students of KA, 
I was so happy to hear the news that Raindrop, Quid, Squall, and Welly have approved the Duders. And shortly afterward, I got a message through the Kazoo Network from Till, letting me know she's taking Raindrop's spot in the Meowrettes. And is, as is befitting of the mom cat of Petty Cash, she had opinions on the business model and felt they needed a couple songs that appealed to a wider audience than just the cats and humans awaiting the perfect addition match. And what is more universal to catdom than the feeling of anxiety around a food bowl that's below 90% full? We're doing a little shaka shaka to get your human's attention. So, I hope Till is happy with the enclosed rewrites of Carol King, uh, the Car- Carol King Jerry Goffin classics. Will you still feed me to Meow Row? Oh, that's good. And do the shaka shaka. All right. Uh, Purrs and Meows, Lily Cat's mom, Lily Cat's dad, twin A, twin B. Izzy Cat, Flat Izzy, and Angel Cat, Lily. P.S. I just got another Kazoo Network message, this time from Welly and Squall, asking for a song that captures both their profound appreciation of their time at the Academy and their excitement about their future forever home. I guess it must be the coffee that Welly's been drinking that prompted him to request a song based on Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run. Oh, boy. Uh, All good choices. These are great. So... Will you? St- I'm, I am just going to read them. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not even going to do like a like a William Shatner like slam poetry style. Um, I would maybe you know if we had postponed mailbag until after the workout, <laughs> maybe I'd be ready for that. I doubt it. Okay. This is Will You? St- oh, there's a karaoke track linked here. Wow. Well, we'll have to post that somewhere. I don't think I can read that link though. Um, Will you still feed me to Meow Row? All right, the, uh, the lyrics are, Tonight I meow so sweetly. Please fill my bowl completely. <laughs> Tonight I might eat more than just a bite, but will you feed me to meow row? My cat food is my treasure. A full bowl is my pleasure. Can I believe you'll keep my food piled high? Will you still feed me to meow row? Uh, Tonight with words you've spoken, you say that dinner time is done, but will my heart be broken when my bowl reflects... Morning sun, I'd like to know that my bowl is a bowl that will always stay full. So feed me now, but I'll still ask again, will you still feed me to Meowro? That is extremely cute. Okay, we have do the shaka shaka. Everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Come on, kitties, do the shaka shaka. I know you'll like to get it if you give it a chance now. Come on, kitties, yeah, you know. Um, because tiny little kittens can do it with ease. It's easier than purring to your human squeeze. Oh, that's good too. Uh, so come on, come on, do the shaka shaka with me. You gotta swing your paws now. Come on, kitty, stretch up, stretch back. Now ask your human for a snack. Whoa, whoa, very nice. Uh, now that you can do it, front paws off the floor now. A shaka shaka motion on the nearest door now. Ari was just here. Um, do it nice and easy. Don't lose control to make your human notice you is your one goal. <laughs> very nice. Let's see, scratch upon the door with a shock of motion, add a little meowing if you get the notion. There's never been a dance that's so easy to do, it even makes your humans turn and notice you. So come on, come on, do the shaka shaka with me. Brilliant. Oh, a karaoke link so you can bother your cats by singing along. Very cute. Okay, and then we have Squally's Born to Run. Okay, um, let's see. In the day we play around on the feed of a 24-7 live stream, at night our EU friends include us in Discord gifts and memes. Sprung from cages, brought here from Dawes, we're chipped, snap-tested, and ready to stretch out our paws. Oh, shiny butler, is it time for a snack or a cat nap or some time in your lap? We're full of zoomies because we're young, because cats like us squellies, we were born to run. Oh man, this is this one was a lot of work. Like that is some uh, meter to have to to get in here. Human, let me in. I want to be your friend. I want to be your perfect kitten. Just scratch my chin and watch me begin to knead and rev and purr my engine. My belly, it might be a trap. I'll run till I drop. Maybe it's time for a nap. Oh, I know I might look kind of weird. I'm sorry, wired, because human, I'm just a caffeinated kitten. But I got to know how it feels. I want a human of my own, and I know the K.A. love is real. Oh, can you show me? Out in the cat run, Breadmaster Maggie asks where the burbs have gone, and Ari says he gets no pets. Warden Eddie says get off my lawn. Professor Prof Custeroos tries to eat our food. Uncle Barry says he needs to go whiz. (laughs) 
while I want to climb up the carpet wall and sleep tonight in a state of kitten bliss. The main room's full of piles of boxes. Now that mailbag time's arrived, shiny butler is checking the cameras. Discord peeps say sound is fine. Forever human, if you're living with sadness, we'll cheer you with kitten madness for your homo someday soon. We don't know when. We're going to get to that place of our real forever homes where we'll nap in the sun. But till then, cats like us, squellies, we were born to run. Oh, humans, cats like us, squellies, we were born to run. That is adorable. Wow. Um, (laughs) Thank you so much for those. I know uh, you'll probably post those on Discord, and um, hopefully everybody can get a chance to see them and maybe sing along and do a little better than I am uh, able or willing. (laughs) But uh, I think they're super cute. Thank you for that. You are purring so loud, you're just sitting there and purring for no reason. I can hear you from all the way over here. Such a happy cat. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now we have what appears to be a Thanksgiving card. What was that? It says, okay to read on string stream. And we have Charlie Brown and Snoopy here. And um, Woodstock is the name of the bird, right? Wow. Okay. Oh, this is cute. It is a cat and a pumpkin. This cat looks so much like Till. She's uh, just super cute. Okay, it says, just peeking in with warmest thoughts and Thanksgiving wishes. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I'm thankful for all rescues, especially an amazing place like KA. You and Dr. DJ inspire me constantly. Love and thanks, Cecilia. Thank you so much. Why couldn't Dad stop moistening the turkey with juices? It appealed to his baster instincts. Uh, 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 that's that's good. All right, that's good. Um, okay. Well, let's keep going here. We've got some fun stuff to go through, I know. His baster instincts. That is ridiculous. All right. Oh, what is this? Look at these cute little uh, pot holders or rags. Those are beautiful. And we have some temptations. And we have the note. Okay. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Happy Catterday to everyone. I'm sending a small package containing pre holiday gifts you can use now. A package of my favorite shortbread for Dr. DJ. A unicorn ball popper for Mr. A to enjoy with the current students. Oh, my. Okay, let's see. This is shortbread festive shapes. They're little Christmas trees and stars. That is festive. Oh, this is cool. What is this? It is. It's like a unicorn that you put a... It's made of like some kind of soft rubber, and you put a ping pong ball in it, and then squeeze it, and it pops out. Uh, It shoots out. That looks really fun, actually. I'm going to want to see that. We'll open that in a minute. Um... Let's see, treats for anyone nearby. My big boy G says hello to everyone watching and hopes you are all happy and healthy. Pet kittens and ramble on. April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. And my boys, Joe G. Look at this kitten. That is a great photo. There we go. I hope you can see that. These, uh, the little extra... um, uh, potholder rag things that you have included as uh, filler are also very nice. Oh, is this a toy, though? Is this a toy? Okay. All right. It can be a toy for now. Thank you very much. Let's see. i got to see what this thing looks like. Uh, I've been thinking more about doing, like, theme rooms and DJ... Oh, lots. This is even cooler than I was picturing. It does look just like the drawing, though. is ridiculous. This is going to be very fun. I bet this will make a great cat toy. So first off, it is, as you can see, a unicorn. And okay, I guess I got to squeeze it pretty hard. Or is this one just kind of stuck in because it's been there as an example for years since they manufactured it? It's a unicorn. It's got this big, broad mouth. Nose, actually. Its mouth is under here. So that is just its nose. Uh, Not even its nose, though, because its nostrils are up here. So who knows? It doesn't matter. It's got uh, a really cute look, purple mane. It's got these little stars on its back and a faint little blush on its cheeks. Golden horn. It's standing up. Probably would stand up if you set it somewhere. Yes, it would. And then let's take uh, one of the other balls so that we have one that hasn't got a dent in it already. And see. I'm so cool that they sent so many of them that they're rainbows. I love it. 
In theory, if we put this in here and then squeeze them real fast, it'll pop right out with a noise. Let's see. Ready? Ready? Watch, watch right here. Watch right here. Oh. <laughs> I squeezed my fingernail in it the wrong way, though. <laughs> I got to be careful how I hold it. Okay. That's cool. Oh, my goodness. Let's pop another real quick. Oh, okay. See, yeah, that's the one. This one's got a little dent in it. We'll just... That one's not going to work. And the rest I'll have to collect after we shoot them out. But let's do it. Let's shoot these around real quick. Let's do all of them. That's fun. I need some practice, too. Okay. You ready, Maggie? You ready for this? Okay, is it in there? I think it's in there. Ready? What is it? It's interesting because you squeeze it, and there's sort of a delay before it pops out, which is... Uh, so that's what fooled me the first time, I think. Those are fun. Okay, let's pounce one right here. <laughs> the noise is fun, too. Huh. I'll have to collect those and see. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Uh, I bet also that that's probably the standard size of those. It's the same as those little pith balls that we, we get, that, that you get for cats all the time. Um, that I, I don't think they're literally with pith, but they're like a light foam. Um, that's pretty solid, so that is great. That this is this is fun. Um, thank you, thank you very much. I love it. Okay, there we go. I don't know. I've seen a lot of like guns and things for cats. We've got that one that does the little helicopter blades, and um, I think I've seen some others that shoot little balls and things. Uh, so far, this is this is the cutest for sure. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here, and I'm actually gonna put these in here too. Okay. Since none of that is really for endowments, that can all be stuff for us. Okay, uh, let's just keep going. This does not say anything on the outside that I can recognize, so... I should mention, if you didn't notice, there was another box that arrived that was not for mailbag. And uh, there are a couple of Christmas presents, new Christmas presents under the tree from that. So uh, thank you. Oh, oh, this is cool. All right. Uh, I see I've got a couple things I'm going to have to send along later, but that is, that's fine and expected. This is the knife guard. In here we have the note, and then we have little bags for each of our kittens. And there, I can see the colors in here are spectacular. Oh, and I recognize this seal. Wow, this is really like a, like a royal seal at this point, where if I see it, I like, I'm like, oh, I recognize that. <laughs> We have a very cool fluffy cat wearing blue sunglasses on the front. And it says, here we go, see that? It says, greetings, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I hope you both are doing well. I've enclosed my usual toy sets for Till and her petty cash. Each bag includes a cat nipped ball, a flower, a kicker, and in time for the season, a tiny pumpkin. The colors are supposed to be sort of like English money, but probably not even close, <laughs> LOL. Uh, there's also a bag of these same toys for the faculty. You know, you say it's supposed to be like English money, but probably not even close, and I'll just say, um, you know, you always hear artists saying, like, I was inspired by this, or you see movies that are, like, based on a true story, and then you go to what they were inspired by or the true story, and it has nothing in common, but you're like, all right, they're an artist, you know? You, it doesn't have to be so literal. So, uh, yeah. Um, okay, I can't imagine how you handle so many adorable kitties in your home. I would never get any work done. I know, however, that Till, Serenity, Sprout, and Drizzle will eventually find the perfect forever homes. Teaspoon is such a little champion, uh, and so cute. I wanted that to be chomp somehow. Champion. <laughs> Teaspoon's such a little champion and so cute. Makes me smile when I see him on stream. I will be sad to see Welly and Squall set off for their new homes, but it's going to be great for them to be in loving homes with people that will cherish and care for them as much as you have. Please give all the mom cats, kitties, and faculty extra scritches from me, especially Cute Teaspoon and Sweet Eddie. I hope you and Dr. DJ have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for all you both do for these wonderful cats and kittens. From Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. All right, Chrissy Cat 24 thank you so much. And yeah, some of these are uh, getting to me a little bit late, but um, we'll pass them along. Uh, if, I, if I showed you guys the closet where I'm keeping all the things that I need to uh, get sent out in due time, you would be um, ashamed of me. But um, 
it's uh, it, it will get done in due time, and that's what matters, right? So let's see. This is uh, doubloons gets this wonderful sort of yellow and red um, color, and we have a kicker. We have a pumpkin. That's a cute pumpkin. And the promised. Um, oh, this is a like the flower. I see. I see. Very nice. And then we have a big red ball. Uh, this looks just like the big red ball that they sell on Amazon as a product. But you have made this one by hand. Oh, it's actually a little nicer. The big red ball is just a ball. But look at this. It looks like a hanging lantern or a Christmas tree ornament with those tassels on the bottom and top. That's super nice. I think that beats it. Better than the big red ball. Okay. So I think that's what everybody gets. But look, um, I don't know uh, if you've matched the colors to money, but you've definitely matched the colors to the bags in a cool way. So this is quids, and you can see the purple and maroon. And farthing has uh, orange and brown, very uh, peanuts there. Here we've got this lime yellow, and uh, it's sort of a lime yellow greeny thing. Lemon lime, that's it. That's what we're going for. It's a lemon lime all the way through, and that's for, oh, that's for the faculty. Maggie, it seems like you want one. Do you want one right now? You want this one? Oh, okay. Put your hands right on it. No? Thinking about it? Okay. That's so sweet. Lemon lime for the faculty. I like it. Okay. Till gets this beautiful blue and white. Teal and white, I guess. Teal for till. I like it. And then we have ledger. Has uh, this... I'm going to describe it as lavender and sea foam. Uh, an interesting combination, but it looks real good. Okay, those are those are so beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much, Chrissy Cat 24. I know their adopters are going to greatly appreciate them, so I'm going to put all those whoop, right over here. And I, I bet you probably even sent me a note to let me know these were here, and I probably ought to go grab them uh, in advance. But I haven't checked my private messages on Discord, um, and it's uh. Normally what happens, and I'll tell you all this so that I don't feel so bad, maybe you don't feel so bad. Normally what happens is when I get private messages that go on Discord, they pop up on my phone and my watch and I see them, and then I just forget to respond because it's, it's difficult to grab the phone and respond when I'm in the middle of stuff. Uh, and then by the time I get to my computer, um, I've just completely forgotten it and Discord no longer thinks it's a new message, so it doesn't even give me the notification. So what happens a lot of times is that's how I miss messages. I don't actually miss them. I just miss responding to them. However, um, I switched phones this week, and I, I don't know if I'm going to stick with a new phone or not, so that's not relevant. But the, in the switch for phones, uh, all that's gotten a little bit jumbled up. That's all. So chances are I missed something from you, and I apologize for that. I'm, I'm just guessing. So um, anyway, it's definitely uh, on me. So uh, thank you, though. Uh, thank you is the important thing. These are wonderful. The adopters are going to love them in due time. Um, DJ says I should find a different phrase that we've worn out in due time. We need, we need a new one. So uh, I don't know, though, because uh, we did a round to it. Like when I get around to it, we did that for a while, and that just seems dismissive. But in due time seems so... Uh, deliberate, right? It seems like, oh, it's not the time yet. We need to do this at the right moment, and it's not the right moment, um, which is, you know, a lie, <laughs> but but it feels better, doesn't it? So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. This is Kitten Academy, care of the Dana BX crew. All right, Dana BX crew, what do we got here? Ooh. Oh, Aw, thank you so much. This is sweet. It is uh, Season's Greetings. Thank you for sharing another year with us, and we look forward to celebrating the truest meaning of Christmas once again. From our paws to yours, happy holidays from Dana and the crew, Gigi and Daniel. Aw, thank you very much. Now, what I can see here is this is an Amazon gift card. It's just uh, packaged this uh, this way. Like, like, I would have also expected them to put your note in the card, right? Oops, uh, but that's apparently not how it works. So let's see the card, though. Aw, he's so cute. It's a little orange cat with a very tall Christmas stocking on. He looks just like Loganberry. 
That is adorable. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for the, the, the generous um, gift as well. That will go for the kittens, I promise. Um, I'm going to put it right in here, in fact, with the other ones. Yeah, uh, we, yeah, we just ordered a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon, and I thought it was interesting. I don't know what it means. Let me say this first. Um, I went on Chewy and ordered all the boxy cat that we need. So we're going to, we have all the boxy cat we need, but I went on Amazon first because lately I've been ordering it on Amazon. It's been just a little bit cheaper there. Um, and so I went on Amazon first to order our boxy cat and they wouldn't let me. They let me order four boxy cat and then they cut me off. Even if I put it in another order, even though if I try to order some more the next day, they're literally telling me you get four boxy cat, the end. Uh, go somewhere else, which is weird, and, and I'm sure just temporary, like it probably indicates some supply chain issue, and they're trying to limit people from hoarding. Uh, I, that's speculation, I have no idea, but it seemed very weird. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's not a problem. DJ, uh, I bought the four that they would let me have, and DJ bought four, um, but uh, in between that, I'd even gone on Chewy and ordered a bunch more, so we got plenty. Um, and we're not hoarding, we're just hoarding what we need. Um, but yeah, that was really weird. That's never happened before. And I hope it's just temporary because the convenience of ordering from Amazon is nice. On the other hand, um, the way that BoxyCat gets delivered, I, I'm surprised that anybody wants to deliver it because it's always a mess. They're so heavy, uh, the mass of them. You know, they, they very rarely come through intact. And it's strange because BoxyCat's whole model is, you know, we're, we do delivery cat food. That's, I mean, cat uh, litter. That's, uh, we, you can't find it in the store. It's just delivery. Or it was. I don't know. Maybe that's changed. That's neither here nor there. This is one of the things I was looking forward to. We knew this was going to be this year's Kitten Academy calendars. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting. The 2024 Kitten Academy calendars. We have the desk calendar right here. Hang on. I'm just going to set this up while we talk about it. So cool. Here, I'll put this. Okay. And then we have the 2024 wall calendar as well. Look at that. Oh, oh, and it starts right out with a faculty. So cool. And then um, one of the things I love about the annual uh, calendar, besides the fact that I don't have to put any work into it, because, uh, oh, oh, and we have the one sheet version too. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That is the whole year at once calendar. Oh, these are great. I love the background that you've chosen, like a, like a school teacher's desk for this one. So um, I was going to say, yeah, I don't have to, to do anything because you, uh, OBS, OBS, OBS has done these every year and finds all the pictures and picks. I, I like that you pick p photos that have been shared like on Discord. So uh, in a lot of cases, they're ones that, that people that aren't Discorders haven't seen or that people that are Discorders, you know, they kind of come and go and... Uh, they can get missed, but um, having them in here again is always fun. So I know you wrote me a note, too. We're going to read it in just a second, I promise. But I'm so excited to see this. Some great photos in here. Oh, oh, those are fun of the petty cash. Oh, these are all great. Okay, I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but that that's fantastic. Okay, and the note says, Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Here are the official calendars for 2022. Now, that is a weird thing. You can't see it, okay? And I'm not going to show you, but you just I need to tell you what's happening. Ari is doing his thing to Teaspoon. That's, I don't know, is that meta? Is that, what is that? That's, that's, what, that, that's what that meowing was. You probably heard the meows in the background. He just stopped. But, yeah, that was Ari um, with Teaspoon. Weird. Okay, um... Here are the official calendars for 2024. Links will be provided for everyone to purchase on social media and Discord. Sorry for the short note. I got them in the mail on Saturday morning and wanted to rush them back to the post office so they would be sure to be there for this mailbag. Hope all is well. From Aubrey, who is Obs, Obs, Obs. Uh, Obs, Obs, Obs. Thank you so much. I, I, can't, I can't tell you how fantastic these calendars are. We always keep ours, you know, in the kitchen. Um, I try to hang, put, I put this on top of the microwave. Last year's is on top of the microwave still, and I love looking at it right below where our alumni photo frame is, so I can see uh, that all the time. 
And then typically I put the wall calendar on our cardboard, uh, our corkboard cardboard, and um, I get to enjoy that all year too. So I, I just, I really love it. I've been hanging these up in DJ's office, but she goes in there so rarely. I'm not sure that that really is, is getting seen, but uh, it's, they're, they're wonderful calendars too. And I know people look forward to them. Um, for my part, I don't, I don't know. I, I have not kept up with social media in a while. Um, I know social media generally, uh, it seems like all of the major platforms are fraught one way or another, you know. Um, so I have been sticking with our sort of private discord, which is nice. That That's a little more under our control than other things are. Um, so as for getting this out on, on social media goes, um, I'm, I'm sure that uh, our Facebook group that is managed mostly by um, Lisa, uh, you'll prob- probably end up getting posted there. I think that would be the place to look if someone's not on Discord and wants to find them. Uh, look for our Kitten Academy official or the, probably the fan uh, uh, um, um, Facebook as well that I think, uh, I think the fan Facebook is still uh, Ninja Chris thing, is that right? And then I know Philly Mouse helps out so much on getting the news out there. I, I, I appreciate it. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, that leaves us with this one box, right? Oh, it says it's from Minnesota KA fan. All right. Hang on, we're going to get to it. I'm trying to figure out how to set this flat on the floor so that nobody, like, wrinkles it by stepping on it. So there we go. Let's try that. And the knife, did I put it away? No, it's right here. Good. All right, Minnesota KA fan. Hi, Ari. Don't sit on this box. I know that's what you're thinking. You always want to sit on the box. Buddy, I'm about to open this one. Okay, you can't do it. Ooh, right on top, the note. <gasps> I see Stroopwafel, and I am hungry. Uh, I gotta stay away from those. Okay, November 13th. Dear Mr. A, no, Dr. DJ, faculty, kittens, and KA community, sending just a small box of toys for the kittens and KA. Deploy as you see fit. And some treats for you, Mr. A, to keep your strength up as you scoop, poop, dole out, hugs and kisses, shuttle kittens back and forth to the vet, and keep the academy humming like a well-oiled machine. I'm so... It is a well-oiled machine, by the way. I cleaned out the grease traps the other day. Oof. Um, For for the kitchen, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm... It's a true story. (laughs) I am so glad volunteers and admins are assisting more to help you keep up with so many tasks. I appreciate them and I'm happy that it probably eases your stress levels too. Yes, I don't. I feel like I haven't thanked them enough lately, especially with DJ having been on vacation the last two years and I've been kind of absent, like just, just hanging out with DJ. Um, uh, and then the last week sort of catching up in the adoptions and stuff, I've been absent. Uh, and I, the fact that I can be absent and... and Ah, wonderful people. That's all I have. So, some of the kitten toys and clothes are things I purchased at the Minnesota State Fair in early September. We call it the Great Minnesota Get-Together. The fair truly brings out folks from all walks of life. I love wandering around the animal barns, exhibit halls, and of course, trying some of the delicious but probably not very healthy fair foods. Good thing the fair only happens once a year. Do you have memories of attending a state fair when you were growing up or as an adult? If yes, did you have any favorite foods, activities, or exhibits? What a great question. Yeah, um, we uh, would go to the, uh, mostly not the state fair as much as the county fair. Um, We went to the county fair in Kane County. Yeah, no, that's right. Kane County, which is, uh, you know, like a suburb of Chicago where uh, Elgin um, is, where I I sort of did most of my growing up uh, in the Chicago suburbs. So... We would go to the Kane County Fair, not every year, but probably every other year. And I have a lot of memories of these fairs. Um, oh, and then uh, the state fair that we would go to is later in life um, uh, as, as sort of a semi-adult. <laughs> I spent some years in Madison, Wisconsin, where they have the Wisconsin State Fair, I believe. That's the state fair, and we would go to that, and that was also super fun, a much bigger production. 
And uh, my favorite thing was always elephant ears. Uh, not elephant ears, um, no, the other ones, um, uh, funnel cakes, that's it. Yeah, they're both good. Um, but the, the elephant ears are the ones that are like this big, flat, uh, fried dough and uh, sprinkled with like powdered sugar and it's just, oh, it's good. And then um, funnel cakes are the ones that's, I think it might even be the same dough, but instead of doing it like a big uh, thing, they, they pour it out in like a, a string, uh, like a plate of spaghetti right into the fry oil and it comes out as a big like uh, mass of fried dough. It's, it's disgusting and I love it. Um, so yeah. For activities and exhibits, I did always like the 4-H halls. It's fun to see all the animals. Um, goats are great. <sighs> yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, another thing I love is to go to the... Um, they always, we always have flea markets that happen at the fairgrounds. Not, not during the fair, but as a separate thing. That's always fun, too. So, I've been a Kitten Academy fan and watcher for about three years now. It's so fun at the end of the day to rewind and see what happened the past 12 hours. Who's been naughty? Who's been nice? And to see whether you've rambled to the kittens at all. <laughs> I really look forward to Mailbag each Saturday. The entire KA community is simply amazing. I can't get over the creativity of the folks in this community. Etsy shops, poetry songs, IT magic, and much, much more. The love and care you and DJ provide for each mom, cat, and kitten is so special, and each feline is so fortunate to end up at KA. Thank you for everything you both do. Although it's a bit early for this wish, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Give a kitten a hug for me, Minnesota KA fan. And I like the little blue uh, cat stamps that you've put. The little head tilt on him. Uh, is it a head tilt? No, it's just a cat tilt. All right, whatever. He's cute. Okay. Um, thanks so much to everybody for everything. This has been a great mailbag. Like I said, it's the perfect length because uh, what I have to... Oh, I didn't go through your box. Let me do that. You described it pretty well. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's the perfect length because next I do have to go work out. Uh, some of these stroop waffles might be some good energy for that too. I haven't had any breakfast and that's... Uh, since I've been working out in the mornings, I've I got to fix something as far as my breakfast routine is going. So you have sent many stroop waffles, and I'm, I mean that in both senses, uh, both with an I and with an A. Uh, so minis, mini stroop waffles. Look at that, they're so tiny. That's a good size, too. Looks like about the size of like a silver dollar. Uh, wait, are silver dollars the size of silver dollars anymore? <laughs> They're not, are they? They're the size of quarters, aren't they? Ah, forget it. So, let's see. We've got some kickers. Very cute Kong kickers. I see the Yao catnip fish. You smell that, Maggie? Oh, uh, those little Yao catnip... Uh, not, they weren't Yao catnip. The catnip bags that were sent that had the real funny uh, phrases on them, like, dude, I think your cat is high... We're in my office, and Maggie wrecked them. Uh, I mean, they're still physically intact, but they, the, all of the like juice has been sucked out of them. They're like flattened because the, the catnip that's in them has been like wetted down, and then like just, uh, yeah, they are a mess. So that's what I thought of this. This is a tiny little catnip pillow, kind of similar to those. Maggie goes nuts for all that stuff. Oh, here's another one, another Yao catnip pillow. These are Nulo? Oh, Nulo brand Churu. I didn't know Nulo had a Churu product. Uh, I keep calling it Churu. Of course, that's the their brand name, but um, uh, that'll be interesting to see how it compares and how the cats like it. Thank you for that. This is the coolest packaged. Uh, I assume these are truffles, lint truffles in here. I mean, what else would they be? They're heavy. Um, but the package is so pretty. I'm just going to put it right under the Christmas tree, and that way maybe I'll forget about them and not eat them all immediately because uh, those are very yummy. And the, the decor on that is super pretty, though. Okay, wow, there's more. We have this three-way uh, cat tunnel that has cats on it, and the cats have stars around and in them. Oh, wow. Well, we're all made of star dust, I guess. Um, there you go. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's really pretty. I love that print. And the color is good. Um, and it kind of goes with the space theme, I guess, but that's, that's fun. We have a wand with a long tail and feathers on it. 
There you go. You can see it hanging off a little bit. That'll be a great one. Wow, that, that'll be a really great one. It's like the rainbow wand, except with the feather and the texture. Um, that could be really good for the kitties. And I think the rest of what we have here is styrofoam packing peanuts. So thank you all for everything. That was, that was a great mailbag. It was a great length. It was a great stuff for the kittens and uh, for the academy. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Didn't spend too much on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Uh, I've been trying to keep my wallet shut for all that too. So far, so good. So, uh, I think that sounds like Ari and Teaspoon. No, it's Teaspoon and one of the girls. All right, well... Seems like that's just the morning thing. Um, once again, uh, if you see it, we'll try to keep it off stream. I know not everybody wants that going on the Kitten Academy stream. We don't um, necessarily want that happening on the stream, but I also don't think that it's it's a big deal if it does because they're cats. Cats are going to cat, you know? And uh, at some point, you just got to accept it. Um just, uh, just rest assured that we are, when it comes to Teaspoon in particular, we're keeping an eye on it. We're making sure that there's no consequences to the behavior. And as long as that's the case, I think we're fine. So, all right. Um, well, I will get this stuff put away and then say thanks again one more time, like usual. I don't think it's going to take too long. And let me switch the mic right now so that doesn't get lost. Man, these... <sighs> Phones with in-screen fingerprint readers get me. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I wish we could go back to the ones that were on the back. The ones on the back are always faster. They're always more reliable. Uh, you can use them for other things, too. Like, uh, the, 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 at least the original ones, you could reprogram them to be little scroll wheels on the back, which was kind of nice when you're holding the phone. You can just go like this. They fit the way you're holding the phone. But then the number one thing is that the in-screen fingerprint readers that are slower and, and nasty. Uh, my thumb has these really bad calluses uh, on it, and it, it never reads well. So, and it's the it's the finger that's right there. I just can't use them. Uh, all right, enough complaining about that. Take that off. Put all this stuff away. Thanks again, everybody. You're just wonderful people all around. I, I feel like, especially lately, the the level of appreciation that I would need to show um, is just off the charts. Like I, there's no human level of appreciation that, that really expresses how. I, I really don't know what words I'm looking for. I just, I, I literally could not do it anymore uh, without everybody's help. And it's been fantastic. So thank you. That sounded like I, I didn't, uh, just to make it clear, I just mean uh, not that I would be giving up, uh, but that, uh, you know, things changed uh, for me and for everybody in a way that um, uh, it, it makes the community more important than it's ever been. That's what I mean. So uh, thank you so much. For, for being that community that we need. The community we need. I would say, uh, like, you know, in the in a reversal of the Batman meme, uh, definitely, uh, wait, no, is it the community we deserve? Yeah, no, I think that's what I mean. Am I misusing that? I don't think I'm misusing that. Um, wonderful people, that's what I mean. I don't mean we earned it, though. Like, that's not a thing.
trying to find all my little uh, unicorn uh, shooters here. Found three, which is plenty. Like I was saying, I bet this is one of the standard sizes. It's like they're one inch, probably one inch size, where the ones that we normally get are closer to the two inch for the trees. But I can just grab a bag of the one inch and have this thing going indefinitely. Anyway, I got plenty for now. Put those right in here. Send me two, I think. Bring that up to the bedroom. These can go. Let's see. Well, I'm going to bring these down for the moment. Let me put it out at the appropriate time. There we go. Oh, uh, I fixed the P16 this morning, I think. The trouble was um, that the, there's a bearing on the end of the, the shaft. Well, it's not actually a shaft. It's just a little plastic thing, which is, I think, the first thing I've seen about it that feels like maybe it's going to be the breakable part. But anyway, there's a bearing on, on the end of the thing, and the bearing had apparently been pushed all the way against the case, and then it's not long enough to hold itself in the frame. So all I had to do was get some pliers and like pull the bearing out like a, a millimeter, half a millimeter. It's not much. It seems like it makes all the difference. So if you have a P16 and starts falling out of its frame, check the bearing, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Well, uh, I put two of the bags, the frozen uh, the for stroop waffles in the freezer, I meant, uh, because if you've never tried frozen stroop waffles, that is another good way to do it. And I think the minis are especially good for that, right? Seems like just the right size to just pop one in your mouth. Man, I am hungry. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap this up. Uh, thanks.